The Monterey Police and Fire Departments made the holiday special for residents in need. We talked to the city staff who helped make this possible. Our Christmas program has been going on for 15 to 20 years. Started out really small. We went through the Salvation Army to get uh, families in the area in need. And this year we had 268 children that we delivered presents to and uh, about 160 families that we covered. The program is basically for families in, in our jurisdiction that we cover to help them during rough times at Christmas. Uh, presents are donated to all our fire stations from the general community, uh, different service groups, and uh, our fire fighters association also donates uh, money and toys to, to the program. Once the presents are wrapped, we go out with fire engines with Santa. We actually go to the family's homes and Santa brings the presents in with a number of elves that are helping. Once you see the children's faces light up when they see Santa, uh, it's, it's very rewarding. Just before Thanksgiving, we had an anonymous donor who approached us and stated that they wanted to give uh, a financial donation uh, and asked how we could arrange that. And the donor had three main points that they wanted to do. One was they wanted to give. Um, and part of the giving, they wanted to do it through the police department because they wanted the police department to be seen in a positive light. They also wanted the police to be involved because while they could go and be in the community and give, they didn't know exactly who would be most in need and where that money uh, would go that would benefit the people in the best way. So we came up with an idea. They donated that money to the Police Officers Association, Monterey uh, Police Association. The association took that money and bought $25 gift cards to Target and Safeway. And we then distributed them to all of the patrol officers and it was the patrol officer's discretion as to how they would give and distribute that money. Um, it was a very positive endeavor for many reasons. One, it really helped some people. Uh, two, I think that it did show the police in a positive light. The police officers got a glimpse into some people's lives that they might not have had prior to this because they had discussions after the giving occurs as any of us do when we give somebody something or we share something with someone. It gives us an opportunity to really kind of find out about them. And I think that that was one of the biggest takeaways from this was that our officers really got to have some good heartfelt conversations with people and it really touched people in truly emotional ways. One that probably surprised me the most is I um, befriended an individual working on Cannery Row, kind of the idea of don't judge a book by its cover. Um, he had a very hard exterior and um, coming to speak with him, I came to find that he was going through a custody battle, trying to gain custody of his two kids after his wife had run into some problems with drugs and criminal law and found that he was only working just above minimum wage and wasn't able to provide a, a very cheerful Christmas for his kids. So because of his circumstance, I gave him a couple of Target gift cards to help out. And two days later, his five-year-old son called me and is telling me all about the trucks that he got from Target. Uh, another good example was um, we got called to the uh, Hartnell Clinic, the mental health clinic, for an eight-year-old boy out of control. And um, it turned out he had um, autism and he had barricaded himself under a table and wouldn't come out and was being aggressive towards staff and his, his family that was there. Um, after some time, we were able to um, calm him down and coax him out and get him the help he needed. But while talking to his mother who was there, come to find out that she had um, three kids and two of the boys were autistic and they were both eight and nine years old. And she was really struggling driving up to Monterey weekly from King City for their appointments. Um, and she explained how she had been uh, ostracized and isolated from her family and a lot of her friends because they didn't know how to deal with uh, her children. And she was really struggling just to get by and. Um, you know, provide for her family and get them the help they needed. So I was able to give her a couple gift cards. And it's just amazing how appreciative people become. Just a simple gesture, just a small thing. And their gratitude is just remarkable. And it really connects law enforcement with the community. And I was able to reach out on a, on a different level.